Hi guys, it's Miss Sam back with another video. We are continuing our weekly um, lessons and especially our multiplication strategy lessons. Yesterday we talked about area model, today we're moving on to partial products. Now remember with partial products, we are writing down the entire product of a multiplication sentence. Okay, you're not just putting part of the product and then moving on to the next. You are putting all of the product down and then we're gonna add it. So for example, I have two times 45 written on my board. I'm gonna take this number and I'm going to write it vertically so that way I am able to do my math. A little bit easier for me to understand and solve. So I'm gonna underline this two just to keep myself in check that I am multiplying by two. So I'm gonna go up the ones. So it's gonna be two times five, which is 10. And I'm gonna write 10 all the way down. Then I'm gonna go across. Remember, this is the tens place. It's no longer just two times four. This is two times 40 because the four is really in the tens place. So it's 40. So two times 40 is 80. And I'm gonna line up all my numbers in a row. So that way, when I can add, which is my next step, everything will be nice and even. So speaking of next step, I'm gonna start adding. So 10 plus 80 is gonna give me 90. So the product of two times 45 is 90. Always remember that this is the ones place value and this is the 10. So it's no longer two times four, it's two times 40. But let's keep moving on. Let's try another problem. Go ahead and write this problem down with me. Two times 126. Okay. I'm gonna change it and write it vertically so that way I can solve my math. It's a little bit easier for me to do so. All right, I know I'm gonna keep that two in place and I'm gonna go and multiply up the ones. So two times six is 12. I'm gonna write that whole number down. Now I'm gonna go across to the tens and it's no longer two times two, it's two times 40. And two times, uh, I'm sorry, two times 20, not two times 40. Two times 20 is 40. And if I need to do so over here and do some practice to make sure that I'm writing down the correct thing, then yes. Two times zero is zero, go across. Two times two is really 40. All right. Now I'm gonna go across all the way to the hundreds now. Two times 100. I know for a fact that two times 100 is gonna be 200. And I'm gonna write that down. There's no need for me to practice anything over here because I know that two times one is two. And in the hundreds place, I have two extra zeros. So I'm just gonna add those zeros to the end of it. Now I'm gonna add everybody together. So you can go ahead and add any zeros that you can need to, but I'm just gonna add it straight across. So two, ten, two plus zero plus zero is two, one plus four is five, plus zero is another five, and two plus zero plus zero is gonna give me two. So the product of two times 126 is 252. Okay. If you are stuck and you cannot see how these numbers up here at the top, 126, and how I'm getting 20 and 100 from it, go ahead and make that place value chart that we used to do. Label it the ones, the tens, and the hundreds. All right, so that way you can see, wow, the one is in the hundreds place, the two is in the tens place, and the six is in the ones place. That way you know what numbers need to get the extra zero or whatnot. Okay. All right, we're gonna keep moving forward. We're gonna do another practice problem. Okay, and we're gonna do some partial products with double digit multiplication as well. All right, so my next problem is gonna be three times 312. I'm gonna go ahead and write it the correct way, that way I'm able to do it properly. Okay, I'm gonna go up the ones. 
So three times two is gonna give me six. Now I'm gonna go across to the tens. So three times 10 is really 30. Make sure you're keeping everything in line to solve. Now I'm gonna go across the hundreds. Well, three times 300, if I know in my head, three times three is nine, and I'm in the hundredth place, and I have two extra zeros, it's really three times 300 is gonna give me a product of 900. And if so, if you need to practice over here, just to make sure that you are correct, go ahead. Up the ones, it's gonna be a zero. Across to the tens, zero. Three times three is nine. So I was correct. Now you're gonna add everybody together. So add your zeros if you need to add your zeros. Six plus zero plus zero is six. Three plus zero is three. Nine plus zero is nine. So the product at 300, I'm sorry, 312 times three or three times 312 is gonna give me 336. Remember, if you need to draw your chart, your little place value chart up here, then do so. Whatever it is, is gonna help you be able to solve these problems. Remember, you are writing down the whole products, then adding. Alrighty, now let's move on to double digit multiplication with partial products. So I'm gonna write down 61 times 23. Okay. Same things apply when you're doing multi-digit by one digit and double digit. It's the same idea. So I'm going to write it the way I like it, the way that's easiest for us to do all this math. <coughs> I'm going to underline this three. This is very important so that way you keep track of where you're going with these problems. I'm going to go up the ones. So three times one is three. Now I'm gonna go across to the tens. Remember, this is no longer six, it's 60. Three times 60. If you can't do it in your head, don't try to do it, don't try to guess, solve it out. So three times zero is zero, three times six is 18. So I'm gonna write down 180, because 60 times three is 180. Now, I'm gonna erase that little line telling me where I am because I am now going to the tens place. I was in the ones, now I'm in the tens and I'm gonna go across to the ones. So really this is saying 20 times one is what? 20 times one, anything by times one is itself. So it's really gonna be 20. And then I'm gonna go up the tens. So this is really 20 times 60. Now, if you don't know and you wanna try to practice your double digit skills, you're more than welcome to, okay? You could do it this way and solve it this way, or you can think to yourself, well, I know that six times two is 12, and there's two extra zeros I have to add on because 60 and 10 are in the tens place. So really, it's 1,200. But just to be safe, just to make sure, I'm gonna solve it over here for you. So zero times zero, because I'm going up the ones, is zero, zero to the tens, zero times six is zero. Put my placeholder down, don't forget that placeholder. 20 times zero is zero, 20 times six is 1,200. Okay, so everything matches up. So now what's gonna happen? Just like we've been doing, you're gonna add everybody together. Three plus zero plus zero plus zero is three. Eight plus two is 10 plus another zero is 10. So I'm gonna put down that zero and I'm gonna carry and add the one. One plus one is two plus the additional two is gonna give me four and I have just one by itself. So I'm gonna get 1,403. So the product of 61 times 23 is 1,403. Remember, boys and girls, when we are doing partial products, you are writing down the whole product, not part of it. That is getting into standard algorithm, okay? If you can't remember how to do any of these little tricks, just solve the math. Well, we know that 
2 times 6 is 12, and if 60 and 20 are both in the tens place, they both have an additional two zeros to it. So add those two zeros to that 12, and you get 1,200, okay? <clears throat> All right, boys and girls, this was review, a little review on how to do partial product math with multi-digit and double-digit multiplication. Until the next video, bye, guys.